Welcome back to Paris, Tennessee. Our hosts for the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Well, of course, Paris and Kentucky Lake and Paris Landing is our main uh, tourism draw, but Paris has a lot of unique features. It's an old town full of history. We've got great shopping, unique restaurants, uh, a lot of sights to see. And then even in a one, within a few hours drive, there's all kinds of natural resources for people to see and enjoy if, they're, if their family or friends are up here and their, their kids are fishing, there's plenty for them to do. For visitors information, check out fishkentuckylake.com. Getting back to tournament coverage, we'll catch up with Logan Brewster and Clay Walters fishing for the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Yeah, so you probably saw all the snow, miserable wet morning. So we pulled the boat out of the water and trailered it and uh, put back in and then it cleared up and got relatively nice. The wind calmed calm down so we could fish some of our main lake spots. The team from UT Knoxville has had some success today, dominating session five with two fish going seven pounds or better. Hadn't been catching very many. Uh, pulled up here, we caught a few small ones and then got that one and our net was actually in the bottom of the uh, rod box. Wasn't able to get it out so he ended up reaching about elbow deep in the water and lifted it for me. But it uh, ended up weighing I think 732. Put us in second in the weigh-in right behind our teammate Scott. But he had a 759. Hooked outside the kill plane. He hit that as I pulled it off that rock. That's what that big one did. That's what all my fish here last year did. Moving on, one of our camera crews is with Bryan College's Dalton Price and Francisco Cullen. Uh, this is the first tournament I've fished like this, but I really enjoy it. You know, I feel like it takes some stress off of me. I don't have to look for five. I, I know I can have one good one and win a session or even qualify in a session. I love it. I'm having I'm having a blast. Uh, I got a little more serious, so I started buying a bunch of stuff, spending all my my school money on fishing gear, which is pretty bad. So I just I gotta call my mom and tell her to send me some more money for food, <laughs> and I just spend it on fishing gear. But I love it. Uh, I'm having a blast with all my teammates. Uh, pretty social, and I'm glad they, they welcomed me in with open arms. You know, we got a great program. We all work together, and uh, it's a really a team, and uh, just great communication among everyone. But uh, if we won this, this would this could really put us in first, and it'd be it'd make it hard to catch. You know, if we could really blow this one out of the water. So I mean, that's what we're shooting for in the long run, but mainly just trying to rack up some school of the year points and keep our top five right now. The school of the year standings are on everybody's mind as we head into session number seven, presented, session by presented by Cabela's. This is Mississippi State's Hunter Hatcher. We caught up with him early this morning just after putting this big girl into his live well. What's your guesstimation on this fish? I want to say at least seven. He's hoping she nets him the $1,000 Cabela's gift card up for grabs in this session. 741, 741. It's the uh, just start of the seventh session. Um, about the third fish to weigh in, ended up being a 741. Uh, leading right now, but uh, you know, of course, almost an hour left, so we'll see how it goes, see if it holds up. Unfortunately Ooh, for Hatcher, it didn't hold next? up for very long. What's coming next? This is Bethel University's Evan Orley. Evan Orley from Bethel. Have you weighed it yet? Uh, no, I don't even know what to weigh. Can take a guess? I hope close to eight. How about 849? New big bass of the tournament. Way to go. Get that girl out. Show it to everybody like you're proud. Let me have this. Show, look at that Garmin tent. Show it to Kevin. With only one more session to go, Evan jumps to the top of the overall standings. Here's a look at the top 10 from session number seven. 